Hey, what's up, team? I just wanted to give you a quick update and an announcement on what's going on in the Discord. Things is going really well. So we went live at 3 a.m. and I had to make an adjustment because 2 a.m. was getting a little too early and it was a lot of fake outs happening. So we pushed it to 3 a.m. That's my job as the mentor to keep us on track with what the market is currently doing. It's very dynamic and we got to keep it moving accordingly. We got to change up and do what we got to do. You feel me? So that's been going really well. But here you go. I knew something was up in the market. Uh, it just went crazy. TP on the GU sale and the GJ sale. I mean, did y'all see it just just spike out 100 pips just the other day ago? So you, you know what I'm saying? But we still we was on the right side of that. But we had to take profit quick because that spike it spiked down and jumped back up. That GBP JPY trade was a win. All JPY was another uh, buy limit. And I gave you that one. That was a win. And, uh, and, and, and not only do I just send you signals, team, but I also give you updates along the way. I don't just send a signal out and let you go in your merry way, but I update you along the way as well. So we in profit on that. I want you to lock in about 10 pips. You can take two trades. If you're taking the dollar lot size, take two 50 cent lot sizes. Let one hit 10 pips, take profit, let the other one run, right? So in profit on all JPY, hit 10 pips and pull it back. That's why I know that that usually happens. That's why I say that, all right? So I'm telling them, I'm, I'm updating the team, letting them know lock in 10 pips. And then eventually it went on ahead and went up to 31 pips. So it was hardly no drawdown at all. It just around 10 pips, it was starting to wick out a little bit. So um, it hit the full TP at 31. Then GBP JPY was the first one I called. That one took a little longer, but that one blew past TP for another win. And like I said, it's a great start to the week. 35 pips, it went higher, but I really wanted to just stay uh, you know, conservative at, at the 30, 30, 35 pip range. You know, we just in there grinding away and, and inching it way at our goals. All right, look forward to helping y'all. Take care. Peace. Two turns of four, four turns of eight. Sleep and get paid. Rich when I wait. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Wang. You know, representing Team Take Profits. And you know what? I started this series a, a while back, and then I got kind of distracted on some other things that was going on. And uh, life just took place or whatever. But I want to, excuse me, but I want to bring this series back, um, focusing on these indicators. Like As I go over this indicator today, you may not need it every single day. You can trade normally, you know, but then there may be a time where it, you can plug it in and be like, you know what? I can use this, this um, quarter point right now to see where I'm at, see if it can get up there see if it's almost touching it see if it's touching a quarter point and it's about to reverse see what i'm saying so you can pull them out when when necessary all right so let's dive into the charts and and we about to master this thing i'm gonna show you some stuff real quick let's get it all right so i'm on gbp usd i want you to go to indicators i want you to type in quarter point automatic quarters theory lines by Manzaka Mera, something like that, but automatic quarter point and then start so you can keep it. And I'm on an hour chart. Now, I don't want you to just trade the quarter uh, point theories like, you know, when it hit one, you automatically just go to the next one. So what I mean by that is. Let's just say it's breaking through this one, so you automatically just say it's going to go to this one. I don't want you to do that. That's reckless. All right. That's no, that's no strategy involved. That's no rules involved. That's a weak rule. By the, by the way, we're not going to do it like that. OK, um, but I, I do want to show you this. So what are, what is the, the blue, the green and the red about the blue? The, uh, the blue is the half. The green is the quarter and the red is the major. So the major to major would be 100 pips. So let's go from blue it goes to 23 uh 25 it goes to 50 so blue to blue is 100 because that's major to major okay so from blue to green 25 pips and then to red 
50 pips. So 25 pip increments. And so I would say, or that's the way that I like to trade it is in 25 pip increments because I'm really just scalping every day. You know, if I find a swing trade, you know, then I can, you know, look, go to a higher level. But if I'm not finding a swing trade set up or if I don't have one, then more than likely, if I didn't take this buy down here or if I didn't take this sale up here or whatever reason, you know what I mean? Then more than likely, I'm somewhere in the middle of this. I'm not going to try to find a swing trade in the middle of all this. You know, like for an example, this high has already passed. This low has already passed. Those are major levels. So now I'm just somewhere in between. So whenever I find myself in between those major levels, I'm scalping because you, as you can see what happens in the middle of those major points, it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I've learned over the years, over the course of eight years, how to find my pockets to, for best entries to make some money inside when, when I'm inside of these major levels. So I'm going to go from this high point up here. And I'm going to drag it down to this low point here. Right. And now we have the golden zone. All right. So now that is there before price even get there. We know that level before price even get there. So let it play out. Let it do what it do. So now here we are up to the golden zone. We're going to go to the 15 minute chart and try to get into this trade. Like I said, we have rules behind if it if it's going to break above it, then we're going to be a little bit more patient around the 50 and wait for a retest on top of that golden zone. But if it holds at the golden zone, we're going to hop on that 15 minute chart and get an entry. You know, obviously you could pull up a trend line. All right. So. But we're not going through all of that. I want to show you these quarter points. So let's say we get into an entry on this thing. Right. Now, do you see the golden zone is sitting right at the green, the green line? That is a quarter point. Remember, what is the green line? The green one is the quarter. The blue, uh, the red is the major. The blue is the half. All right. Now, let me just tell you, this red line right here is not a quarter point. I know it looks like it, but it's not. This red line right here is just where the candle is closed at. So just keep that in mind. All right. So price rejected at a quarter point. At the And it was at the golden zone. That's what I want you to understand. So if you're in a trade, if you took this, if you're waiting for a golden zone, if you took this one. And it rejects. You're saying, hey, price is underneath the 50. Great. By just by chance, there's a golden zone that's structure, and there's a quarter point sitting right there. So you're you're like, you're second guessing, do I take this sell if it breaks? Yes, take the sell if it breaks, because it just held at a golden zone. It just held at a quarter point. Those things can help uh, give you confirmation and confidence to take this trade. And now here's the thing. Look at the look at the quarter points. Let's bring them back up. From the green to the next one is all I really want you to focus on. Remember, we're in inside of these major levels right here. So you cannot swing trade. It's hard to catch three to ones inside of these levels. We're in the middle of them. So a lot of consolidation is going to happen inside of these uh, major levels. So we just scalping. That's the mindset. That's the that's probably something that you guys don't understand and was probably hurting you. You're trying to get too much out of something that ain't going it ain't going to give it to you because or you know, what I mean, it's hard to gauge it. It's hard to judge it because price is in the middle of these zones consolidating. All right. Look at this. So how many pips would this be? Just to the blue 24. Remember, they're 25 pip increments. So that's 25 pips that you already know from the green to the blue is 25. After that, I would just take profit. 
or you can twin trade. If you're taking out a dollar lot size, take a 50 cent, take two 50 cent lot size. As soon as you enter the first one, enter the second one back to back. Let the let the first one go to the blue. And then if you want it, if you're that type of person that want to let it drag out and see how many you can get, how many pips you can get, go ahead. Let it play out. But, you know, don't lose that second trade. You know what I'm saying? You you in profit on both of them. So keep the stop loss tight on that second trade. So you can do it like that. All right. So now that we have the 25 pips, all right, call it a day. All right. In real life, I would be like, hey, I'm done for the day. It's one or two trades a day. That's it. I'm scalping. All right. Let this thing play out now. Keep in mind, look at where you're at. I know we just pulled out a golden zone from the top to the bottom, right? That's done. You can delete that. But flip it around. Now you have a low point to this high point. I still want you to focus on the quarter points, though. But I got to frame this for you for you to understand. You could pull out a Fibonacci now from the low to the high do you see what i'm saying i i know i found and mastered how to find my pockets of entry for me to make some daily income you know i really want to teach you guys this you know what i mean so do you see how price stopped at this golden zone now and it's just golden zone to golden zone do you see this so now we can delete that so again we're gonna go to the 15 minute chart use the 50 moving average and try to find an entry somewhere realistically probably somewhere right about up in here you ain't gonna catch it perfect every single time so realistically that probably makes sense to get in right about here all right so let's focus on these quarter points we're gonna go from one quarter point to the next as long as we are in structure or as long as we are at structure we are definitely at structure we're gonna go from this quarter point to the next one now what is not structure right what is not so something that's not structure is when you're just in the middle you're like that's not structure structure was up here so if you catch this in the middle and of course there's a quarter point sitting somewhere up in here i don't want you to play that game i want you to be alert and focused and present in the market when when the uh when price reached these structured levels then you can use that quarter point theory to your advantage so let's bring out a quarter point this is not going to be the last quarter point this is just the first one we're going to do like a couple more and then we're going to do a live uh a live back testing session with all of you on here let me know if you want to do uh, back testing and working through this and ask uh, and asking me questions live i do a live for you guys all right but i want to show you real quick and for a couple videos you know maybe a couple weeks and then i want to do a live and wrap it up let me know if you are interested in that but do you see this right the blue one right at structure um and then we just going to ride it up to the next quarter point where is the next quarter point this red candle is, is in the way a little bit. So that red line is right there. But you see the green one? There's a green one sitting right here. Let me open it up for you. So because we reject it at a structured level that's solid, you can have confidence to ride it up to the next quarter point. That is how I would do it. You have confidence to do it right now. You like, oh, I don't know if I should do it. I don't know if I can hold this trade. And you really want to. You really have the personality to do it. You just don't have the confidence to do it. I'm, I'm trying to instill that confidence in you. Catch these moves around structure, holding at a quarter point and then write it up to the next one. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was informative. Comment below. Let me know if you want to do that live after the end of these sessions that I ha that I show you these indicators. We can wrap them up with a live back testing. Um, you know, maybe even find a live trade. Who knows when we hop on? I will look for one. But the main focus would be just back testing what we went over for the last three weeks showing you these indicators we're going and then let me know which indicator do you want me to show you is there a specific one that you want um curious about i can enlighten you and show you how i would trade with it all right comment below hey don't forget to like this video comment subscribe and i'll see y'all on the discord through signals and live trading all right let's make this money baby peace